Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of all the mods gravitas and today let's see how many planets can we visit now even though I kind of love the the rocket flying there's a better way of actually moving around and I'll probably be working towards that because that's like blood magic uh, I also built a, a space station wait Wait, I built the space station. Why does it not show up? I th I may have missed <laughs> I may have missed something. Uh, I'm not so sure about what just happened there, but I'm I built a space station. I was I was there. Uh, okay, so we're back here for a couple of reasons. I have been exploring the map, and I've been I got some dash, which means I can actually make another. Uh, the tier 2 rocket and we can go to another planet but I am I need to go to these uh, meteor sites and I think this is one of the best places to, to go because I know what I'm expecting here and I also made the rover now I haven't actually placed this guy's place this guy down uh, I don't know how he drives uh, okay that's actually instant it has fuel it actually has some storage it's kind of cool i also brought up uh, a bow and uh, a crossbow just in case and uh wait we have the rocket right yeah we have the rocket so how does this guy drive does he climb up blocks oh he does Ooh. oh when he has speed oh he kind of moves pretty much like a horse would yeah so I don't necessarily like the fact that I'm hearing stepping noise. It kind of seems like that it's me running. So it's going to start draining like. Yeah, I think it's starting to drain like my water and my food. Uh Oh, there's a rocket. Is this a new one? No, it isn't. Whoops. Well, I'm trying to find new ones because we need two more presses. So let's see if I can get lucky with that. I also need to pick up some skystone, so I might just might just mine this one. There we go. I found all of the processors. I think it's meant to be like this uh, because I actually got them all in a row. Well, I have no clue what that is, and it's not getting affected by my amazing crossbow. So the bow shouldn't do anything as well. Yeah, I don't know what this is. It's a star crawler. Oh, he hits hard. Oh, he hits very hard. Push him back. Push him back. If I push him back. Then he does. Oh, that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There we go we have an me controller now with the f i'm gonna have two i'm gonna make two of them because i want this guy to work i've been trying to get this crystal growth accelerator to work and for some reason he is not like entirely cooperating with me right now so let's see if this actually changes anything if i power a controller instead of directly trying to power that other thing which hopefully it helps uh i really hope it does help okay that's getting power this guy's still offline i i don't know what's wrong with him there we go now he's online apparently he needs the power through the bottom and i actually made this system uh because i was not entirely sure he needed a full block of water now he has a full block of water so hopefully this speeds everything up so i can now put the funnel back onto here because I, I took the funnel out so i could have like a proper filtering uh, or actually this thing to stop and i could actually gauge how much surges quartz i already have so let's put the funnel back yeah it perfectly reaches the area where i want them to be and they even don't get like too close or something like that so that yeah, that's perfect well, this process is very, very slow. Uh, I could get some acceleration cards. I'm not even sure, like, 
acceleration cards like how crazy his recipe is so acceleration card yeah there it is this one and it needs an advanced card which gives me okay it gives me two so it's not really that bad so maybe i want to do that just or a couple of those to maybe speed this process up because it is slow because i can't automate it i can try the hopper but the hopper immediately puts the items in the middle it doesn't input here it doesn't put here like it needs to be from the top and from the bottom and i don't actually have ways of doing those things right now uh, until i actually have my like system sorted uh because it could do the import bus and the export bus you know these guys uh but in order for me to do that i actually need a system and a storage and stuff like that and that's what i'm trying to do so i guess i'll have to try it manually because there's no item ducts uh item ducts yeah or if i even search for pipes there's no pipes so yeah it's it's kind of weird or transport some things uh there's flux ducts and there's fluid ducts but this is for power this is for water there's like no item transfer besides belts of course uh but those would be tricky to automate here like i'm way better off just doing this by hand and i also just did a bunch of resources to make a second diesel generator uh because it's using the diesel to power the entire the entirety of the base and i actually need to move again <laughs> the excavator uh i went around i was looking for gold i found the gold excavation i have sulfur i have graphite i have bit bitumous coal i got pretty much all the good things that i really could possibly need i think i got all of those sorted so let's try and get me maybe a 16k space i could i want to go into a 64k though if i go to a 64k i just put all my items into the storage like that's what i'm going for and here it is on all its glory i have 264k and um believe it or not it, it it's not enough uh because of the types um this this is one of the reasons why i prefer refined storage uh is because refined storage only counts the single items uh this one applied in logistics always counts the types and i have a lot of types i have a lot of different resources uh i emptied most of these ones uh i kept some like this like raw cobblestones and stuff like that i still have like some like my gear and i have like this one still to fill this one pretty much all the other ones inside that house as well so this is gonna be tricky i'm thinking of just making one case or one or four k's just to fill this guy in and maybe that will help it because uh, you see that i have like a lot of junk but at the same time we're gonna need everything so it's a little bit weird and there isn't the type cells like if you search for cells um uh, have portable fluid portable item we have the mega item but as you can see even though this has a lot of space like a lot a lot of space it only holds 63 types so if you have more than 60 63 types uh then yeah it's not really gonna help you a lot is it so i don't know uh maybe this is something they could add the type cells because there's some cells that you can make that will give you types just types it doesn't have the 63 types no it just everything can fit into one cell and that's an amazing mod i don't know why it's not here it should be in every mod that has a python g6 and after a little bit of resource gathering, we can make ourselves the tier two rocket. Now this guy is, I'd argue not, ex not, oh, that is loud. Not as expensive as the number one, because the number one takes a lot of stainless steel and regular steel. This guy takes dash, and dash is arguably easier <laughs> when you get to the moon uh that oh that's the wrong button but that means we can go to another planet but well, now we can actually go to mars now let's see what mars has to offer so we landed on mars and i noticed right away <laughs> the differences 
well yeah it's always granite there's mars sand of course but there's like a different biome oh there's martian raptors as well okay so let's not forget about our rocket and oh oh boy it's getting nighttime oh no so other thing that i was actually not prepared for is the temperature here at nighttime it gets super cold like super cold so i just yeeted myself out of here uh oh no i don't want to do that and i'm just making sure that i have the rocket ready in case i run into any sticky situation and i need to just yeet myself off of here again i want this guy to be ready so i can just lift and get out of here because i was pretty low uh mainly to the blitzes but now that i have my bow the blitzes are really not that big of an issue right now uh, it was really the temperature because this planet is crazy cold right right now on the surface it's 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 heating up a little bit but if you start to go down uh which i was trying to do trying to find some ores and you can even see like it has snow and it has packed ice here so you can see like how cold this area can be but it's heating up so hopefully i can mine and get what i need and get out of here that said there are a lot of these like massive cave entrances so i'm just gonna exploit them uh i kind of want to use a water bucket to make this but then i'm pretty sure that this may freeze so i'm just gonna use it to get down here and it will go from there well i found what i needed ostrom now let's hope we get enough i don't know how much uh, do we actually need uh we may need a bunch of this uh, i also found a dungeon dungeon seems to be pretty common everywhere yeah six we're probably gonna need more than six yeah we're probably gonna need something around like 30 ish uh oh okay we have a little bit more here uh if i remember correctly fortune seems to work with this uh if i remember correctly i'm not sure uh because i'm pretty sure it worked on dash so okay we have 14 we need a bit more oh hello some mars diamonds well take that oh these ones are tombstone soul bounded what so these come with me even if i die okay and i might i might need to start to thinking of getting out of here because it's getting starting to get really cold i'm pretty sure it's getting nighttime so i really need to find that other ostrom aha here it is so please don't cave on me and we got 24 i think this is enough mars see ya so hopefully i don't need to come back here i may need to come back here i don't know oh okay we're actually landing near our house for like the first time ever well i'm i'm, I'm actually like out of resources yeah i used a lot of resources especially in this last rocket to go to mars and we still have two planets to go but that shouldn't be an issue for next episode yes because i need to gather a lot of steel i also want to like make a cooker which hopefully it's gonna make use of this bitumen and turn it into pet coke so we can then turn it into um some more steel so hopefully this guy can keep working he's filled with kerosene um we could use kerosene for other things uh but right now i'm mainly using to make this fuel and this guy stopped because this guy is filled with kerosene this guy is filled with kerosene this guy still has a lot of diesel uh, but I stopped them working because I need to move my excavator. But you know what, guys? I think it's with all that said and with a lot of grinding ahead of me that I'm going to end the video for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't. And see you in the next one. Bye.